This video is presented by the EA Creator Network, and I would like to thank EA for providing me a code. EA Play Pro allows you to play some of your favorite games up to 10 days before the release date. On top of that, you will receive exclusive in-game rewards and members-only content. When you sign up for EA Play Pro, you will get 10% off of any purchases within Origin, and you'll get instant access to a collection of EA's best love games. You can try out brand new games and the saved data will carry over should you decide to purchase the full game. New games are added regularly, so there's always more to play. Head on over to the EA website to find out all the games that are available with EA Play Pro, as well as any other benefits that come along with it. All right, folks, so you have seen the video where I took a full team of 99s and a full team of 36s, made them face each other to see just how badly the 36 overall team would get destroyed. Which, by the way, um, that video is, like, almost clickbait, but in the wrong way. Because I looked, and I'm pretty sure that the 36 overall team was actually, like, 0 overall. It was, like, 0 or 18 or something. And then the 99 team was 100. So, yeah. But, um, I guess, depends on how you consume or how you sort of, I don't know, <laughs> take in that information. Because technically the whole team is 36 overall. So, you know, on average, 36 overall. That's how that works. But anyways, thank you for that comment. I see that they have re-edited my lines for me. That's great. So I'm gonna have to change those out quick. But yeah, it's it wants to put them, you know, on offense because they don't want to have a full 36 overall offense, but... Too bad. All right, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do this for the other team as well, but here you go. The defense right there, all 99 overall. Offense, we have everybody at 36 overall. I'm just trying to real quick scan over it to make sure I didn't have any duplicates by doing those line swaps, but I think we're okay. And then in net, we've got Gibson and Flower at 99. So yeah, obviously goaltenders are inclusive as part of the defense. So as you can see here, now we have a full team of 99 overall offense. So, yeah, they're going to be trying to score goals. The other team's going to be trying to block them and then hopefully get one or two. So I'm actually really, really interested to see if these are high-scoring games or low-scoring games. But I guess the team with 99 overall defense will probably be able to destroy the 36 overall goaltenders. So I, I really don't know what to expect, honestly. I'm really interested for this one. Does anybody else use playoff mode? I feel like I ask this all the time, but seriously, like, does this mode ever get used besides this? Please don't remove it, by the way, because I use it for this. So, <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's probably other... Mm? I'd probably just do, like, play now or something if I really had to, but, you know, this... Well, then you can't really track the stats. Never mind. Everyone uses this. It's great. Keep it in. So we've got the Delta Defenders against the Omaha Offense. Let's go ahead and start the playoffs here. Get that first game going, and let us see what's going to happen. I have no idea what to expect here, but I'm pretty excited, honestly. So here we go. The defense got a shot off already. A power play. Cheeky power play for the offense. Can't put one in. The shots are substantially in favor of the offense, so I'm thinking maybe it's not looking. Never mind. Tori Krug's going to put one in. Wow. Is this going to be like a really close one? I thought for some reason we were going to see like a blowout one way or the other. But maybe not. Maybe it's going to be super balanced. All right. Cool. Let's keep it going here. They have two shots and one goal versus 18 and one goal. Oh, my word. They are getting outshot so badly. Yep. Kairou's going to score on the 24th, I think it was, shot of the game. Wow, they are piling on shots. Come on, defense. Let's go. They got to four shots now. Oh, no. Perron scores shorthanded. All right. But Girard gets one back. Love to see it. Okay, we now have ourselves a one-goal game in favor of the offense heading into period number three. They get a power play. Unable to score. The defense... Oh, Tori Krug! Gonna tie it up with 13 minutes to go. We are halfway through the third period here. Holy crap. This game is intense. Are we gonna see overtime in game one? Or is someone going to clutch it out here last second? We are headed to OT. Wowzers. All right. Well, another power play for the offense. 55 shots, and the defense, the defense, Gerard going to put one in, four goals on 10 shots, wow, the offensive team's goaltender stats are going to be awful, and on the inverse of that, the defensive team's goaltender stats are going to be ridiculous, let's have a look at the three stars here, so Gerard with two goals, and then Gibson, yeah, 
945 save percentage per on one goal, one hamburger helper. All right, nice. So yeah, that's solid performance. Really close game. Could have gone either way. Let's see how game two goes. Game number two underway. Let's turn up that simulation speed and let us see how this one unfolds. We have an early lead here for the defense. So right now, defense does win championships. I know it's very early. Shouldn't be saying anything. All I'm saying is that currently, defense are winning championships. But that could definitely change at any second. All right, first period is going to be 1-0 for the defenders. And they are definitely doing a lot better at stopping the offense from getting shots and also getting shots themselves because they already have five shots. But yeah, the offense, their shots, sometimes it literally is just like more than one per second. It seems like Pacioretty going to bury one. So is Nathaniel Maconan. All right, there we go. It is 2-1 now for offense. After that offensive burst, saw it as well. Going to get on the board. It is now 3-1 for the offense. All right, well then. Didn't see that coming. Jump into the third. See if the defense... No, they can't. Connor Garland going to bury another one. Things are not looking good for the defenders right now. They will likely be losing game number two and having this series tied up at 1-1. But, I mean, it's a little early. Chitrin. Oh, my word. Never mind. Shea Theodore is going to bury one, too. We have a one-goal game here again. Are they going to clutch it out? Get another overtime here? Or are the offense going to hold on? Yes, they are. Connor Garland with an empty netter is going to make it 5-3. to three. Let's have a look at the three stars here. We have ourselves Connor Garland. Four points. Look at him go. Legend. Yeah, Nate Mack with four points as well. And same with Saad. So, wow, yeah, McKinnon, Garland, and Saad all got four points. I don't know if they're on... I think they are the first line, so kind of makes sense. Series is tied 1-1 offense. Once again, coming out strong here with a bunch of shots. Defense, I mean, also coming out pretty strong here. Two shots and a goal. Another goal from Girard. That guy is an absolute sniper. What can you say? Another goal from the offense. All right, this has been a very teeter-totter match so far. Defense going to put up another one. They are currently on eight shots and four goals. Tori Krug going to bury one. Wow. All right. They are starting to beat the offense at their own game right now. They came out real strong. Another one for Shea Theodore. Holy crap. Rantanen's going to answer back. Cut the lead down to two now. McKinnon going to cut the lead down to one. This is an absolute gallery right now. Holy. 5-4 already. And we are... Over halfway in this game now, about to be, well then, 5-5, five, five, tied, heading into period number three. Boom, here we go, third period. Defense, getting one in the first minute there, Tori Krug, that is huge. Brown's going to tie it up though. There you go, Dusty. We have another goal for the defense. All right, I don't know what happened this game, but holy crap, it's out of control. Eight goals now we have for the defense. I, I think I'm missing stuff. It's happening so quick. I didn't even know Barzal scored. Chitrin, I missed that. Gerard O'Reilly. But it does look like the defense are going to hang on. I, I'm not sure what to tell you what happened that game. But that was intense. Three stars. Krug with a Hattie and uh, two assists. And then we got Gerard with five points as well. Same with Makar. He also got five points. But yeah, there you have it. Very interesting. So the defense... Doing a whole lot of offense that game. This is a big game. Will the offense have their backs pushed against the wall? Or will they fight back and make it a best of three? Defense. Going to get on the board early there. Dewey gets one. Makes it one nothing for the defenders. They only have one shot so far. Ten shots for the offense. They're going to get one. Right now their shooting percentage is 100%. Tori Krug puts one in on the second shot of the game. Finally, their goaltender has made a save. We are ending the first period here with a 2-1 lead for the defenders. Offense really got to step it up here. Girard's going to put one in. 17 minutes to go in the second. Another goal for the defenders. Wow, they are really improving their offensive game. I feel like they weren't insane in terms of offense in their first two games, but they have definitely picked it up. Nate Mack going to bury one, make it 4-2. Offense have a power play. I feel like... Have we even seen a single power play goal yet? We've seen a few power plays, but I don't know if we've seen a goal come out of it just yet. And honestly, because of the whole 36 discipline thing, I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing more power plays. But 
It is what it is. Nate Mack again, halfway through the third period. Going to cut the lead down to one. Will the offense tie it up? Yes, they will. Perron. Oh, but Shea Theodore answers right back. Five to four now. And six for Tori Krug. Oh, my word. The defense, man, are just out of control right now. Let's have a look at the three stars in that one. Tori Krug with five points. Nate Mack with four. Kale McCarr with four. Wow. All right. So, yeah, this has kind of turned into an offensive battle, even though one team is you know, supposed to be defense. 13 points in four games. Not bad, Tori. This is their chance. Will the defenders close it out in a convincing fashion? Wow, Pacioretty scores on the first shot of the game. And McKinnon scores on the third shot. Oh my word. The offense are not going out easy. Wow. All right, that is three very quick goals for the offense there. Another one. And they are coming out of the gate strong. They do not want this series to end. Five minutes to go in the first. Dewey's going to put one in to get to the defense on the board, but it's not going to do a whole lot. All right, we have a 4-1 lead for the offense right now, and they only have 14 shots, which is kind of surprising. Another power play with nothing coming out of it. Halfway through the game now, still a three-goal lead for the offense. Oh, boy. I think that they really have the defense number this game because the last few games, they came out of the gate strong. And we're just piling up goals, but this game they can't seem to do that. Still 4-1. We are now in the third period, 5-1. I think that's going to seal the deal. McCarr, though? No, never mind. Okay. Uh, can we stop? It's like, ev oh, what is going on? Every second there was just a goal. That is absurd. Well, anyways, it's 6-4 now. And I think that that little show of um, goals right there was kind of called off by both teams. They're like, listen. It's getting out of control. Let's settle down for a minute. And they did. But the offense still take home the dub. 7-4 to four victory. Patches with a hat trick. We got Kane with two goals and Dusty Brown with three apples. Another big one here. Will the offense push a game number seven or will the defense finally close this one out here as they've been trying to do for oh so long now. Defense getting on the board first. And they are, they were almost tied for shots with the offense there. That's a first. Chitrin getting on the board now. Defense coming out like they want to win this series after all now. All right, let's head into period number two. Shots are 14 to 18, which is not nearly as ludicrous as they have been in games prior. Okay, we are approaching the halfway point here of game number six. Defense currently leading the series three to two. Could win the series right here, right now. And the offense... Not producing a whole lot of offense. Oh my word. Shea Theodore gonna... I, I think that might be it, folks. The offense might have a burst here. It's done. It's done. The offense are done. They do not have an answer for the defense right now. And now it really comes down to that, uh, that goose egg there. I don't want to address it, but is that what's really going to happen? Are the offense going to be held off the board? Seven goals for the defense. An absolute blowout. To win the series and a shutout on top of it all. The offense could not get a single goal. That is insanity. There you go. Shea Theodore, four points. Gibson with an outstanding performance. Gerard with four points as well. Let's go have a look at the stats. Playoff mode is now complete. So Gerard, 16 points in six games. Not bad, honestly. Tori Krug with 15. Chitrin with 15. So all the defense seem to put up a lot of points here. And then the highest for the offense was Nate Mack, who put up 12. Garland, 11. Saad, 11. Let's see if we have... Well, we're definitely going to have some zeros. A bunch of zeros with the 36 overall players. Kind of forgot about them. So yeah, it was a lot of the same players we saw over and over. But there were some 36 overall players that got some points. I wonder which one got the most. I think Bergeron is 36. He got three. Uh, Kairou is one of the 99s. I think O'Reilly is one of the 99s. Yeah, so I'm not too sure, but I think it's patches. Anyway, there you go. Let's have a look at the goaltenders now. Gibson, uh, he only had a 907. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, he did get lit up, but he also had a lot of shots, so kind of makes sense. A 413 GAA with a 907 save percentage. Unheard of. Varlamov, a 680, 551, 506, and 833, and then Flower, I guess, had to come in relief. Um, for... He went down to a 96 overall. How does that happen in a playoff mode? What the heck? 
All right. Well, anyway, an 891 and 426 GAA. I did not know they could even drop an overall in this. That is... Uh, mind-blowing to me. Well, anyways, guys, there you have it. Once again, the countdown to NHL 22 is still on. I cannot wait. I'm excited. Want to get some Be a Pro content out for you guys ASAP. And yeah, that's it. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you will be able to know exactly when NHL 22 content starts dropping. I'll try to get it out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you have any other suggestions for NHL 21 videos in the meantime, go ahead and let me know. And yeah, what a simulation this was. It was very interesting. And I not I'm not sure if I expected that result or not. I really couldn't even predict anything because I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But the defense take dub. Defense does win championships. I guess that is the conclusion here.